Welcome to Introduction to Schoology Part 2. In this course, you will learn how to create discussion boards, creating assignments, and how to set up your gradebook and create grading groups, which will help you better differentiate using Schoology. Just as in Part 1, you will start at the top where it says Start Here Tools for Success. It is important to read through the whole page, maybe even more than once, and then you can click back up at the top link to go back to the home screen. You will then need to read the Required Class Assignments page. This will show you all of the required assignments that you need to complete in order to receive credit in Edgephoria. When you are finished, you can click the link at the top to go back to the home screen of the course. It is important to start with the top folder and work your way down. There is a short quiz to check for understanding when you have completed the folders above. There is also a class question and answer discussion board where you can post questions and receive answers from the facilitators of the group. Once you are in a folder, you will see Assignments, Discussions, and Pages. It is important to start with the top page and work your way through them. After reading, you may click the Next button to go to the next activity. If you would like to revisit a page, you can select the previous button. You can always click the link at the top to go back to the home screen of the course. If you have stepped away from your computer and would like to go to the page that you were previously on, you can click the down arrow next to a folder to see everything within that folder and click the page that you want to go to. In all of our Introduction to Schoology courses, Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3, we have a folder called Schoology in Action. This is where you will choose different articles and resources to learn from and then share your learning in a discussion board. There are lots of articles, but we only require you to choose two to read through. Of course, you can read through all of them. When you have made your way through the course, and have taken the quiz for Check for Understanding, you can read the page that's titled What's Next. This will tell you what, will you what you will take next in Part 3. We are so excited to learn with you in Introduction to Schoology Part 2 and can't wait for you to soar with Schoology.